Oh, hello. I was working on implementing a feature for my travel app. Follow along to learn how to add Vertex AI to your iOS app to make secure calls to the Gemini API from a client application, and how to create a chat interface for your user to solve a real-world problem. Along the way, we'll get to explore the Vertex AI in Firebase SDK for Apple platforms. And by the end, you'll hopefully get an idea of how Gemini can fit into the bigger picture of your iOS app. Let's get started. The app we're adding AI features to is a travel planning app where small business owners can list their accommodations and experiences for prospective travelers to browse. The app uses the Gemini API via Vertex AI in Firebase to generate descriptions of the images of the lodgings they upload. Now, we'll do the same for activities, like guided tours or events. But with activities, it's often more challenging to get a complete description from images, so we're going to build a chat interface so hosts can iterate on the generated description by further prompting the model after uploading their images. Along the way, we'll have to solve a couple of problems. How should we go about making requests to Gemini at all? How do we construct a prompt that contains both text and image components? And how do we handle the response from the Gemini model? Let's take a look at how we can solve these problems on iOS. Let's hop straight into the app. To help us out with this feature, we're using a few Firebase services. Firebase Storage to store images, Firestore for activity descriptions, and finally, Firebase Auth to authenticate users for storage and Firestore. These have already been set up in the app, so we can go straight to talking about AI. The first thing we'll do is add the Vertex AI in Firebase SDK via Swift Package Manager. Our app is already using Firebase, so all we have to do is add the dependency here in the Frameworks, Libraries, and Embedded Content section of Xcode, and we can immediately begin calling the Gemini API using our existing Firebase project. I've drafted a bare-bones chat UI where we can start prototyping. Just like my Android coworker Rosario did, I could use Gemini in Firebase to generate code for this use case, but creating a chat via the Vertex AI in Firebase SDK is actually a one-liner, so let's do it ourselves. Then I can write up a quick prompt, inserting it into the first element in the chat history. In the next step, I'll wire the chat up to the text input, and before you know it, this feature will be ready for testing. The generated output looks OK. Now let's refine it with the chat interface. It seems like the feature is working correctly, but in order to make full use of this feature, the user will have to have some familiarity with prompting. Maybe I can make it a little easier for them by also supporting images in the chat dialog. Fortunately, since Gemini supports multimodal inputs, I only need to change the client code, and everything should just work. I've added this UI to allow the user to open an image picker. Once I've got the image object, all I need to do is modify the previous code to pass a heterogeneous array of strings and images to Gemini instead of passing a string directly. And that's it. The client SDK knows how to correctly encode and decode images, so I don't have to worry about the actual data representation that gets sent to Gemini. I can even add video and audio file support with a few extra lines of code by converting them to data blobs and then adding them to our prompt array from earlier. This is working quite well. But since the interface is a chat, once the image is part of chat history, I'll need to upload it to the server with every request made by the app. Remember, the Gemini models themselves are stateless. To fix this, I'll add support for Firebase storage URLs. Then I can first upload my image to storage and then just pass the storage URL to Gemini without having to upload the entire image. I already added the storage SDK to this app, so all we need to do is ask Gemini and Firebase to generate the calls for me. Once the image is uploaded, I can manually construct a prompt component from the return storage URL, and then just like before, include the wrapped URL in our prompt array. Thanks to some careful decisions from the SDK authors, using Gemini on iOS is mostly a matter of passing your prompt in whatever format it might be to the SDK and letting Firebase handle the rest. In this video, I demonstrated adding a chat interface into our application by more or less just adding the SDK and creating a chat instance. I also brought up a couple considerations when using the chat API. Most importantly, that chat sends the entire chat history to the backend every time you add a new chat message, and how to ensure your user experience doesn't degrade significantly with larger multimodal chats by putting all of your media into Firebase storage. And of course, you get to use all of the integrations available with other Firebase tools as well like adding storage URLs into your prompt instead of adding images directly, or using AppCheck to mitigate fraudulent requests imitating your application. Want to learn more about these flows in more detail? Take a look at our official documentation via the link in the description.